Welcome back to the Commissar Show, folks. We are continuing our playthrough of Subculture. In the last episode, we gathered some thorium and then we sold it. And we're gonna sell some more thorium. These guys aren't really seem to seeming to want to buy at that high of a price, so actually I'm gonna leave Valcoa Station and I'm gonna go to uh, the Bohine place. Which I believe is just to the south here, and sell it there. Hopefully, they I can sell it for more than 1,200, which is what I was getting at Valkova Station. Uh, another one of the trailers that I saw today was the trailer for um, Pirates of the Caribbean 5, I guess. I think, yeah. Um, and it looked pretty good, you know. It had excellent music. Oh, I got some unread emails here. Billboard Oysters. Oysters have been sighted near the wooden outcrop north of Velcova Station and at the rock arch north of the abyss. A quick and skilled fisherman may have a lot of So I actually did get... Oh, uh, it also says, Perils fetch good prices at Beluga. So uh, I should have probably read this, but I didn't get this email until I just showed up here. If I'd gone to the Beluga Station, I would have been able to sell the pearl for a shit ton of money. Excuse me. But I ended up selling it to the... The jerk bag... Oh, excuse me. Mm, the jerk bag procha instead. But well, whatever. Next time. Submarines missing. I'm Lola Sparks, and this is BTV News. This morning, there's still no sign of the transport sub Bacau. The sub is now two days overdue. The sub was on a routine trip transporting plant inspectors from Tuca Reef to the Tobago Mines. No wreckage has been found, and it is too early to speculate whether the disappearance is due to foul play. The sub is officially now missing in action. In other news, reporter Bob Eindhoven questioned General Higgins outside City Hall earlier. General, there have been several rumors of a new initiative in the war against the project. Can you elaborate? No comment. Could you tell us about the Operation Broken Fin? That's classified. No comment. Could you tell us what the taxpayer is getting for his money? What actions are you taking? Sergeant, get this guy out of here. If he resists, shoot him. Er, I guess that's it for me. Lola? Thanks, Bob. Remember, folks, you heard it here first. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's go into the good screen and find out what we can get. 1260. Uh, fuck it, whatever. I guess this is as good as it's going to get for now. So we have actually a, a shitload of money. <laughs> uh, 1096. I mean, I s sold my thorium for 800, and then I bought it. Well, actually, uh, I guess I am kind of making it because mining it, that doesn't cost anything. So shields 97, hull strength. Okay, so we're kind of good on that here. <gasps> Deep sea lights, I don't need that. Oh, sorry. I'm trying not to yawn. I haven't had my dinner yet. I will be having dinner uh, pretty much after this recording. Um, probably in the future I might try doing uh, three episodes in a row. Um, I know if you're watching this um, on uh, Sunday that there's been uh, like a four day lull. Um, I recently shot uh, Christoph Hates Frozen. If you haven't seen that yet, I recommend it. Yeah, I've turned a little gibble to you, asshole. I'm not feeling lucky, but I want to kill you, so there's that. So the strategy to being these pirates is to hold stock fucking still, because you... Oh, and actually, no, it's not. Ah! Okay. No problem. It's fine. You know, we only really lost about four minutes of gameplay. Uh, we were here. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll just sell our stupid crap here instead. Ah, uh, you know, fuck it. Let's, let's go back to the approach place. Oh, it right out of the gate, a fucking fish is electrocuting me. That's right. I hope you like being giblets, you fucking cocksucker. Pardon my French. <laughs> fucking Procha City dickbags. Um, sadly, this game doesn't have a quick save function like how Quake does. Is there a f what's happening here? Uh, those orange ships on the minimap, these things here, those are uh, Bohine vessels. I guess they're having a bit of a scruffle here. There's a red blip over Tuka Reef. What? He just crashed into the wall and exploded. Okay, then. Um, sell, sell, sell. Oops. Here we go. And we'll read our stupid mail again. 
Check. Oops. Fuck it, whatever. So let's just kind of explore for the rest of this episode. Let's lean back in our chairs and just kind of have a relaxing time. Exploring the world of subculture. Getting immersed in this wonderful underwater atmosphere. I hope, you know, your viewing of this playthrough makes you want to play it as well, because the last time I checked YouTube for content regarding this game, I really, I didn't find anything, especially not with any kind of commentary that explained anything about this game at all. Die, you fucking fish. Um, it's, uh, oops, F2, and we'll switch to our vacuum cleaner, and we'll suck up this thorium here. Come here, you beautiful, valuable Cheeto. Come on. Thank you. If you're a big 90s gamer like me, uh, this is also directed to you, uh, Senor Brendan. Um, you may find similarities to this game with a uh, space game known as Tachyon the Fringe. Not too similar. I mean, Tachyon does have more of a combat element to it than this does. This game's combat is very rudimentary, as you noticed me get fucking ass raped by a pirate earlier. Okay, there's not be anything here. Um, in that, uh, the similarities in that, you know, you, there's trading between space docks, and there's kind of like a big overworld that you explore, and this game is a bit more exploration going on in it than, uh, this, I guess, is sewage grate than uh, Tachyon does because Tachyon takes place in the dead of space where there's really not much to do. And unfortunately, Tachyon doesn't involve landing on s landing on planets like No Man's Sky does. Um, and you know, No Man's Sky really didn't need the the space aspect to it. In fact, the space aspect is probably the worst part of it. It really just involves you. Uh, clicking on whatever fucking planet you feel like, uh, that you hadn't been before, and then just kind of holding the mouse button down to shoot laser beams at incoming asteroids so your ship doesn't collide with them. It doesn't take any skill. There's never any spites that happen in space. And then you just kind of beeline it to the next planet, and then you're there, and that, that's, that's it. Uh, there's some sand crawlers here, I guess. I wonder if there's any Jawas in there. You can hear it? Okay, sorry. Let's move on. I guess we're in kind of a sandbank here. I mentioned in the last episode that this game has its own internal clock. You've noticed that it's gotten much, much darker than it was earlier. Not because I've entered into a new zone. It actually is, you know, uh... What the fuck is going on here? It, it is a, a function of this game. Oh, no, the sound's cut out. That That's bad things. It's a fish duel. <laughs> no, there's nothing but angler fish and lion sharks in this fucking. Oh, electric eel! Let's get out of here before I get shit wrecked and then I have to load my shit all over back again. Christ. The engines cannot take it, Captain. Let's look at the map here and find out where the hell we are. Don't really still don't really know where we are. Just, just breathe it in. It's, boy, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, I've gone the wrong way. Let's go back this way here. I think um, Beluga Basin is just around the corner here. To my memory. Or maybe it's just a goddamn dead end. Fucking hell. What is here? F5. F6. That's where I am. I'm in this little tumor. Okay, let's... Keep going. Um. Hmm. There's a manta ray. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last episode because I did <laughs> so many last episodes, not to you but to me, because I had so many difficulties last time. That uh oh, it's a uh, it's an anchor. That's what it is. Oh, it's this. A dock here. Seems to be some kind of base. It's not giving me any indicators, so I guess I'll just kind of ignore and move on. 
I guess I might come back here at some point to do a mission, but not right now. We'll just chalk it up to exploration and immersion. Oh, what the fuck are these fish doing? Let's back up and <laughs> get a closer look at this weirdery. <laughs> Should we kill them? Alright, let's do it. Oh, they don't care. They're gonna go back to having a freakish fish orgy. Cut it out with the fish orgy! No! We do not tolerate the sickness! The sickness and boying! There's no consequence to doing that. It's just funny. There's an angler fish. I, see, I hear torpedoes going off, so I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. I don't know where I am, but I don't like it. Um, games like these used to come on demo discs uh, because that's how developers would get their get you know publicity for their game is uh, they would send their game to magazines and, and you would read about them because you know <laughs> it's hard to imagine how fucking different the world there's Beluga Basin it's hard to imagine how different the world used to be before the internet so one of the things that uh, <laughs> Us old geezers used to do. Back in my day, we used to get demo discs in PC Gamer magazines. And I played in this game subculture on one of these demo discs. And that's how I learned about it in the first place. There might have been a review in the magazine, but back in the day I didn't fucking read. So I <laughs> learned about it from the demo disc and not from this magazine. I have a mail in my mailbox. Submarine missing. Oh, I already read this shit. So, what? Big ears, escape for depths charges, missile launcher? Can we buy that? Yes, we can. Let's buy the missile launcher. And let's buy some missiles for it, too. Alright, so you notice here, the missile launcher loaded onto the ship. Oh, let's, uh, let's equip the grappling hook. If I go into my goods, okay, hold is there. So I wonder if I leave, whoops. If I leave and go back, will my, uh... Well, will that thorium I picked up still be in my hold? Because that would mean that um, my hold travels around with me. Let's see here. Trade goods. Hold three. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. So I could theoretically take uh, five of whatever is in my hold. Oh, I can turn my crosshair on. Oh, the crosshair is for the uh, torpedo launcher, but we don't want to shoot torpedoes or anything yet. So I could theoretically take uh, five minerals and uh, whatever is on my grappling hook to uh, these jerk faces. Oh, there's a clam. Reveal to me your secret, Mr. Clam. Eat torpedo. Wow, that's one fucking indestructible clam. Holy shit. I see uh, two blips on my mini map indicating a bowling ship and approach a ship, and they're just passing by each other. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Let's sail under Triumph Arc. <laughs> it's smashing very unceremoniously all over the sides. Well, that's Valkova Station. Approach a city. Let's, uh. That's fine. Oh, they're actually attacking them. You know, you would never see that in No Man's Sky. In No Man's Sky, the environment doesn't act around you. You just kind of name shit, talk to NPCs who sometimes give you one word. Uh, let's go to missions. I do not have equipment or funds for these specialist jobs. Okay, so I can't take a mission here yet. I think I have to go back to... Um, uh, the place I was at first, um, to, uh, 
Tokoga, whatever the fuck bay. And I might get my first real mission there. Um, so let's go. Actually, before we do that, uh, no, nah, you know what? Yeah, let's let's go. So you can actually use your grappling hook to grab the entire crystal as well. And uh, if you bring that in, it counts for three or five. I'm not sure. Maybe it counts for two. I seem to have some slight recollection that it actually is better for you. Here we go, Toka Reef. It actually is better for you to break into small chunks and harvest it. You get more out of it that way. And uh, some fans of my show know that I'm uh, a huge fan of Stalker Shadow over Chernobyl. And this game, here we go, Rescue Bekau Shadow. That was the one that we read about. Three days ago, a small shell departed from Tuka en route to our outpost. Half an hour ago, we got a code red message from Bekau. The sub is run aground. Okay, so... Um, just get those guy out of there. You'll be able to tow them with a magnet. We're out of stock, but you can pick one up at Velkova on the way. Accept. Launch. Okay, so we're gonna go grab a magnet from Valkova Station. Holy fuck, please don't kill me. I'm not part of your conflict. Leave me alone. As I was saying about, um, Shadow over Chernobyl. Shadow's lost half its air. You must hurry. Well, you know what? You told me to go to the enemy base first so I could pick up a magnet to pick it up with. So, <laughs> lay off my back for a bit here. You're telling me to con to deal with your enemies, to provide you something that you need for a rescue mission that you can't provide me yourself. Okay, whatever. I'll stop complaining. Magnet. Do I have enough? Okay, thank God I have enough money to buy it. So we have a magnet now, and it's replaced our goblin hook. This is fine. Um, I should have probably read that closer because I don't know where this uh, crash submarine is. Uh, it probably told me... Oh, you know, here, uh, F6. Okay, um, uh, Morse code, the sub around approach waters, uh, very delicate situation, da 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 En route, our outpost at the Tobago Mine. Fucked if I know where that is. Um, I, I'm just gonna go from memory. I seem to have, uh, recollection that it's somewhere near the boot. Uh... Uh, I don't think we've explored the boot in this playthrough, but in the deleted playthrough we did. So we'll, uh, let's see if we can find it. These fish are electrocuting each other. Fuck them. F6. Uh, it would really help if it pinged it on my map. But, you know, I mean, you can't be spoon-fed everything in your life. And although the music is giving some indication as to... Um... Here's the boot. As to an urgency, I don't think that the supply ship ever runs out of oxygen. Oh, okay, that's not good. I hope I don't fail this. I don't think you can. If I, if the, if you can, well, that'll be something for us all to find out. And uh, I hope this uh, playthrough also helps with your own personal experience of this game. So pass the boot. North through Tuka Reef. Let's go into third person view because we're going to need to see all that we can. Where is it? Aquatraz. I'm in Aquatraz, Bohine Sea Space. Fuck. Procha Waters. I hope it pauses during. I hope it pauses the mission during the screen. Um, you know what? I think it's in a beeline. So if the direction I went from Valcova Station, from from Tuka Reef to Valcova Station, if I keep following that, I should be able to get to uh, where it is. I don't know what they were talking about when they said Tobago Mine. Please let me get over whatever this area is here. Please let me get over whatever this area is here. I see, okay, you look on the minimap, there's a swarm of ships over there. Uh, that's good news. 
Hopefully we can get there in time. Let's equip our magnet and let's equip our laser beam because I find it is stronger, uh, or rather not stronger, but easier to use than the torpedoes are. The torpedoes are really just for lols, in my experience. You're suffocating in the- Fuck you, man. Give me a break. Got it! Take the shuttle to Valkova. Oh, it's a- it's a- What? How come the Bohine are giving me a mission to help the Procher? Wait, what? They're both saying that. Who do you want to help, guys? Decide quickly. The Procha, Imperialist Dickbacks, who pay me less than the uh, Bohine do, or the Bohine, uh, Libertarian Orange guys who will pay me more than the... Okay, yeah. I think the decision is pretty easy. Let's go. Great. Now drop the shuttle in the point. And this, these guys are saying bring the shuttles to... I hope these guys don't fucking attack me. And I also hope that uh, my boys here in the shuttle don't run out of water. What the hell's happening? What's that noise? Uh, don't kill me. Why is my battery running out? this <sighs> next time on the commissar show <laughs> we'll try this again have a great night folks i heard spider-man was there where were you photographing that scientist you're fired jeez the planetarium party oh right you're fired i need you come here what do you know about sauce oh uh well i yeah, don't answer that my squirrel got hit and asked by a mad scientist you're all i got big party for my sauce could you pay me in advance? <laughs>